the wood again. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Five of Pentacles. And then we have Knight of Cups. So this Five of Pentacles is about, you know, feeling left out in the cold or being left out in the cold. This person is somebody that wants to connect with you and they feel left out in the cold. You could have left this person out in the cold or they left you out in the cold and just ghosted you. And they want to connect with you. In some type of way. Yeah, five of pentacles is, you know. Yeah. This person could have just ghosted you. You haven't heard from this person. And it's like, this person thought that you would feel left out in the cold and you would contact them. <laughs> and connect with them. It's like, now this person is... You know, in the energy that they wanted you to be in. And they're feeling left out in the cold. And they want to connect with you. Yeah. Three of cups on the bottom of the deck. They want to reconcile something with you. Or connect with you. Or reconnect with you. This could be a friend of yours. Or this could be, you know, yeah. Somebody that you were a friends with. Close friends or something. And, um. They feel left out in the cold. And they want to connect with you. This was a friend of yours. You could have started holding holding back from this person with this four of pentacles. Yeah. This person was holding back or you was holding back. This person could have been holding back from you because of, you know, that they wanted to connect with you because y'all were friends. Yeah, four of pentacles is here. And then four of wands is here. This person wants to come in union with you at the four of wands. They want to, you know, like meet up with you or come around you. But they feel like you're going to reject them. Four of cups. They feel insecure about something. They think that you're going to reject them. They're unhappy about something, you know, could be leaving you out in the cold. And wanting you to connect with them. Or thought that you would, you know, possibly chase them down or sweat them. And now they're in this energy. They could have, you know, burst insecure about something. And that's why they wanted you to be left feeling rejected. Because they felt rejected. And they were trying to project whatever they were feeling off onto you. And it didn't do nothing but make you be at the Four of Pentacles more and hold back. Yeah, hermit mode is here. You're someone that don't even be around people. You're someone that's very smart. You can read energy. So it's like this person possibly didn't know that as they were ghosting you, you could have already knew what was going to happen and they didn't know. And now they feel like if they come around you or try to connect with you, you're going to reject them. Because they're unhappy about whatever game that they were trying to play with you. Yeah, Ten of Swords is here. They could have did something to betray you with multiple people. Two of Pentacles is here. They're at the Two of Pentacles trying to figure out how they're going to balance something out. Or they feel the need to balance this situation out. They're juggling, you know, trying to figure this out. Because whatever they did, it just came back. Whatever they tried to do to you, it came back on them tenfold. This ten of swords is here. If they did something small, something big came back on them. And they could have, you know, just ghosted you. It could have been something about finances with this two of pentacles here. And they're juggling between thoughts and finance trying to figure this out. It's like every time they plan to try to, you know, do something to you, it come back on them tenfold. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. I mean, 
That was the first card that popped out. But five of cups is here. They're in regret. They're ashamed. They're embarrassed. They don't even want to be around anyone. They in regret. They don't even want to come around you for whatever they had and did. And you just kept moving forward. The fool card is here. You took a you know leap of faith. You're on a path, a journey. And this person possibly didn't know that. As they were at this five of pentacles out in the cold on that knowledge. They thought that you would be out in the cold on them trying to play a game on you. And it didn't work. They left their self juggling between the two. Trying to figure this out. <laughs> yeah, the devil card in the reverse. <laughs> you don't have any bad karmic debt on you. You're not binding and blinding to the devil for that that's old. So whatever this person was trying to do to you, you weren't out in the cold in that knowledge. If this person took something from you, you got that 10 times over and they got this 10 times, you know, worse. Because you're not binded to a lot of bad karmic debt. This person could have been, though, as they were attached to different people that, you know, were betraying them ten of swords. They could be in regret because... Whoever gave them the advice to try to ghost you or don't go around you, they got betrayed by that person. So this person possibly didn't betray you. They were being childish, listening to a person or people that were trying to backstab them. And they feel like they betrayed their self and their shame. All because they let their insecurities take over them. And they felt like they were going to be rejected by you, but, by you, but they didn't know. They weren't even sure. So they went around a lot of people that, you know, they needed to go around so they could get exposed for betraying them and giving them, you know, bad advice or doing stuff to, you know, backstab them. So they would leave you out in the cold. <laughs> yeah, Six of Cups is here. This is events that took place in the past. Um, these were people that they've been knowing for a long time. So that's why they, you know, went to them. And that's why they're, five, they're at the Five of Cups in regret, ashamed, embarrassed. They didn't expect for, you know, whatever the advice that they got from them to, you know, make them feel insecure, make them feel that, like they were being regret. They thought these people would genuinely help them, but it didn't happen that way. This person wants to reconnect with you, but they don't know how. They feel left out in the cold now. As the plan was to leave you out in the cold, they could have got advice from people that were very hateful and childish or jealous, you know, envious. King of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this person could have been whoever did. This is a father figure. Somebody that's nurturing, somebody that, you know, are is giving. This could be your person's energy. This person that, you know, feel left out in the cold. They could have ghosted you because of bad advice. And they could have got it from an older person. And they're in regret. Because they realize this person didn't even, you know, have advice to give them. Or this is them in that energy. They could have wanted you to chase them down for some type of finance or wanted you to give to them. In some type of way. I mean, wanted you to want them to give to you. <laughs> this is so serious. Yeah. Queen of Wands is here. This person is attracted to you. They have a lot of... They knew that you, you know... Have a lot of passion for it. They knew that you were a hustler, go-getter. And um, this person look at you as somebody that's very, you know, attractive. Very gifted. Very outgoing. Goal-oriented. And this person wanted you to chase them. Like, you know, come after them for money. This person could be used to a lot of people that... They only come after them for their money. They chase them down for finances. You were the total opposite. You're a hustler. Queen of Wands. You go after whatever it is you want out of life and just so happen you don't use people for finances. You get it on your own. You're someone that get it out the concrete and they didn't know. So it's like this person feel left out in the cold because the people that they're around could be a lot of, you know, could be people that always paid different women that looked a certain way to get them to be, you know, attached to them, sleep with them. You were the total opposite. So the advice they got from these people you know, it was the wrong advice. They were used to doing the same thing. They were used to, you know, 
giving women money or having women chase them down for money, you're the queen of wands. You get it on your own. And that's why this person felt left out in the cold. You at least it said that people want you to chase them down for some money. Or ask them for some. You know, some people, are, everybody is different. But me personally, never been that way. I can't do it. Seven of Pentacles is here. It's like, you know, you started building and investing yourself, building on the things that you wanted out of life. And this person didn't understand that. You know, you're a hustler. You were building on whatever goals you hadn't set. You hadn't planned the season. You were sitting back waiting on your investments to come in. And this person was sitting back watching confused, be, watching you confused because the type of advice that they got was they were so used to people chasing them down for money and wanting them to give. So they thought you would do the same thing and they kind of left you out in the cold. They let whatever energy that they hadn't healed be projected off onto you. They could have been used by a lot of women or, you know, men that would just use them for money. So when this person, you know, came across you, the advice that they got, oh, they're just trying to use you. They just want you for your money. You're this queen of wands, a hustler, a go-getter, trendsetter, goal-oriented, and chase after whatever it is you want out of life. And these are people that possibly don't even do that. They were sitting back trying to get money from this person. They were sitting back trying to control this person's mind with lies on you. These people seen that you were a go-getter. They seen that you were, you know, investing in yourself and um, planting seeds for yourself. But they didn't want you and this person to come in union. So they kind of lied to this person. And that's where the betrayal came in at. And your person found this out in the past. They were, you know, feeling like a fool. But they, they had to go through that so they can realize whatever path that they were going or, you know, or taking in life, those people can't go with them. They can't trust them. They don't want what's good, you know, what's best for them. They could have knew that y'all were twins with this four of wands and four of pentacles. And they wanted you to hold back from that person and wanted that person to hold back from you. They wanted to project their energy off onto your person. And your person was trying to project that energy off onto you, but it didn't work. Your person realized that they were just, you know, feeling insecure and feeling rejected as they were around the same people that wanted them to feel rejected. Wanted them to not come towards you. Wanted them to believe that you were only after, you know, what they can give you. And you weren't even looking for that. You were a friend to your person, Three of Cups. Yeah, Ace of Wands is here. And then three of three of Wands. You took action towards your new beginning and what you wanted out of life. You didn't even pay attention to this because you didn't even know any of this was going on behind the scenes. This person could have made a decision and took action or towards somebody else that, you know, did take money from them. Did lie to them or do whatever these people said that you would do, like betray them. And they had to realize as they took the bad advice that you know, they needed to go off of their own intuition. They needed to hold back from certain people. They needed to heal. They needed to be in this five of cups energy, feeling embarrassed, ashamed. Like, why did I do that? Why did I listen? They needed to go through that so it won't happen again. Yeah, six of wands is here. This person is someone that's, you know, having victory. They knew that this person held you in high honor is what I'm saying. They respected you. But they did something to betray this person to so this person wouldn't respect you. This person wouldn't hold you in high honor. But this person still holds you in high honor. Six of Wands. The more and more whatever they did to lie on you behind the scenes and make up stuff, you were attracting a lot of attention, being you. Six of Wands. And um, you're someone that's very successful. You came out on top even after they thought that they would be seen in certain lights and half clout after lying on you or keeping this person attached to them. That person didn't even want to be around these people. <laughs> yeah, justice in the reverse. They didn't want justice to be served. They didn't want a situation to be weighed out. They didn't want your person to come toward you for some, some type of reason about finances. And it didn't work. It's like you're not someone that's hurting over finances. Whatever they lied and made it seem like that you were up to, it wasn't true. So it's like they're being seen as, you know, people that are just wanting to have control over that person and project their energy off onto them with this four of cups. Wanted them to feel insecure. Didn't want them to go towards something that would, you know, benefit them. 
They wanted to make it seem like that if they came towards you, they would take a loss. If they went towards somebody else, they would benefit. But actually, they went toward in another direction and they took a loss. And they've been sitting back watching you, you know, at the Seven of Pentacles, build on yourself, invest in yourself, waiting on your investments to come in, watching your seeds grow that you have them planted on your own. The seeds that you had them planted in the concrete and you had them got it out the concrete and they didn't know. Yeah, the death card in the reverse. Your person don't want, the, you know, something to end. They didn't expect for you to just bring a situation to an end with them or not even care that they didn't come towards you. Because you're not someone that's thirsty. You're not someone that's, you know, codependent. You're not someone that needs this person for anything. So that's why, you know, your person didn't want this to end. They didn't expect for you to bring an end to a situation and already knew what they were up to. They didn't expect for you to, you know, know how to read energy. They didn't expect that. Yeah, Ace of Cups is here. You're someone that take care of yourself. You love yourself. And you, you this person wants to, they don't want something to end, Ace of yeah, death card in the reverse and ace of cups. They want to start a new love relationship with you. They have emotions for you. Yeah, whatever games that they were trying to play, it didn't work. And they feel left out in the cold. When it's like, why play, you know, I didn't, I, you just, they're confused. It's like whatever games that they were playing, it just has them, you know, in regret. They're realizing that they didn't even have to play you or play games with you. You were only a friend to this person. This could have been a friend who did this to them, told them, no, this person is going to use you. Don't go towards this person. And it was because that person was attracted to you too. Queen of Wands is here. And that's why they did all of this. They didn't want your person to come towards you. They wanted your person to think this person just coming towards you for finance or this person is this. But they needed to get that advice from that person to see that that person was a hater. To see that that person did that because they were attracted to you. Yeah, the hangman is here. They did something to have your person stuck. They did something possibly to try to have you stuck, whoever this friend is. And they're sitting back, you know, attracted to you. And you're not even attracted to these people. You're not even, you know, paying attention to these people as you're planting seeds and watching them grow. Hustling, you know, being this go-getter, going after whatever it is you want out of life. And your person is just sitting back, you know, in regret. Because they sat back and believed this friend. You're not someone that's toxic. You're not someone that's, you know, binded to any bad karmic debt. It's like these people that, this person or these people that did this to your person... They wanted to keep your person in the hangman position, stuck. But they needed to to have patience so they can get enlightened on what was going on around them. Because they would have still, you know, if they came towards you, they would have still had that negative influence. And this person would have did stuff based off of what they was told to do by them, you know, these people that didn't even hold them in high honor. These were just narcissists that wanted to be seen in certain lives that was not their own and wanted what they wanted. And that's it. And thought that they had your person under mind control with, you know, some type of false, you know, guidance that they would give your person. And your person is sitting back at the five of cups in regret and feeling left out in the cold now because you're gone. You're chasing after whatever it is you want out of life. You have to sit back and wait for nobody to put nothing in your hand. You get it out the concrete. And you don't have to do it in no negative way. Yeah, pay the source in the reverse. This friend or whoever this was was somebody that was, you know, gossiping about you. They spread it lies on you, talked about you because they didn't want this person to watch you. This person was watching you some type of way over the Internet or some type of way, you know, was watching you, admired by you, your person. This person thought that they would have your person in jail or something in a hangman position and they wouldn't be able to watch you no more. Because this person was sitting back. Yeah, they knew that. You had love for your person. Queen of Cups is here. They knew that you had love for your person, but this person is somebody that's, you know, secretly was a friend of your person, but they were a friend of me. This person didn't have love. They didn't have nobody that would love them, so they wanted to project their energy off onto your person so your person wouldn't come towards you and they would feel left out in the cold. 
just like the friend felt left out in the cold. So it's like your person had to realize they were only projecting their energy off onto them to keep them stuck. So they wouldn't have nobody that would, you know, show them genuinely love and care for them and stuff like that. This friend didn't want that because they didn't have that. They were attracted to you. And it's like they were secretly at the five of ones with your person and they didn't want your person to know. They thought your person, you know, they had control over your person by, by, you know, just voicing their opinion and your person to just listen like, yeah, you right. And this and that. Your person ain't doing that no more. They have the five of cups and regret. Yeah, they don't even have, they, they know this person don't got no love for them. The lovers in the reverse. They knew this person did this because they didn't want y'all to, you know, you know, come in union and have mutual love for each other. They know this person don't have mutual love for them because the total opposite of what they did to your person, your person wouldn't do that to them. So it's like your person would genuinely be like, yeah, you should this and that. If it was something that, you know, they genuinely thought they should do. But as this person genuinely knew that you would show love to your person, you would care for your person and you were in love with your person. They gave your person bad advice because they weren't getting that love. They couldn't be with you. And that's why they wanted to, you know, project their energy off onto your person. Your person just didn't know. And they, this needed to happen so your person can dust this, you know, frenemy. That was only projecting their energy off onto them. That's it. Yeah, Ten of Cups is here. Your person look at you as the ultimate happiness. Yeah, they want to build a family with you. And this friend was, you know, they were sitting back. This friend is somebody that was sitting back watching you in some type of way as well. And they didn't want that person to know that they were obsessed with you. This friend, they could have sat back and, you know, told this friend, this is how this person looked, what you think, and this and that. And they got obsessed with you, started hating on your person, but your person didn't know. They wouldn't say, you know, they wouldn't act a certain way. They'd be just like, yeah, I don't think you should this and that. No. Nah. And your person started catching on to if this friend didn't know. They realized, yeah, King of Swords is here. They, they, your, your person is someone that's very smart. So they gained some type of knowledge as they were sitting back peeping out and watching this person. And they realized this person don't have mutual love for them. This person don't want them to have love. They wouldn't do them like that, but this person would do that to them. And they speak to they they spoke the truth to this person and cut them clean off. Or this is going to happen in the future, whoever this friend of me is. <laughs> yes, yeah, seven of cups is here. This person was trying to confuse them, keep them in illusions and confusions, create illusions and confusions around them because they didn't want your person to watch you. Page of Swords. They thought they would sit back and just watch you. Just so happened, your person, you know, possibly started watching them and they didn't know. <laughs> Yeah, they found out truth and clarity. Ace of Swords. Ah, yeah, they found out truth and clarity. And um, they were no longer blinded from the truth. <laughs> yeah, they seen this person at the five of ones. Secretly in competition with them. Secretly did this to one-up them. And they see this person as someone that's very, you know, competitive. Wanted to be them. Wanted to send drama, conflict, chaos with lies. This person was secretly in competition with your person. <laughs> and your person had to lay the situation to rest, isolate themselves from that person. Or in the process, this could be past, present, or future, like near future. This don't have to, you know, be right now. It could be past, present, or future. You know, people go through stuff at different times. But your person isolated themselves and start reevaluating their life. Start looking back on different other situations and just started healing from whatever, you know, they had them went through that had them connected to this friend that was sent back at the five of ones with them. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles is here. Your person know that you're someone that's, you know, in this energy working hard. You're a hard worker. And this friend wanted to make it seem like you were someone that was just chasing them down for finances or you would just want to get with them. Because they had money or they worked hard or they had a stable foundation or they were nurturing and giving. You're, you match that person's energy. You match your person's energy. You're someone that's very stable, very grounded, a boss. You're very giving, nurturing, and loyal. And you get it on your own. You work hard. 
um, that person didn't want you to, you know, get with that. This could be somebody that don't work. As I was saying, they don't work. They don't have a job. Whatever they were, they're like a scam artist or something. If they do work, they don't work hard. And they're the type of person that try to get with people for money or that have a lot of, you know, material stuff or money. And they didn't want your person to get with someone that was like them. No, not two people that are mutual, that have mutual love for each other or mutual feelings for each other. The lovers, no. They wanted it to be in the reverse. This person don't feel like they have no love because they don't love their self and they don't want to do the work. They don't work hard. Yeah, this person is somebody that's very childish, as I was saying, Page of Pentacles. They don't have much to offer. And they didn't do nothing but expose their self trying to keep your person stuck with false, you know, receipts on you, false um, slander on you, stuff that wasn't even true. They went off of their own, you know, selfishness, their own lies that they hadn't created in their head and they wanted your person to believe it. So your person would, leave, you know, feel, have you feeling left out in the cold. This friend thought that they would project their energy off onto your person and your person would, you know, make you feel that way. Because this friend really was a, a you know, a third party that um, felt left out in the cold by you. They didn't know how to tell you that they were attracted to you because you don't even know this person. This is a third party of someone that you know. A friend of a friend. Whoever your person is was like a friend to you or a friend of yours. And their friend got behind the scenes and wanted you to feel left out in the cold because they couldn't come towards you. They were too insecure. And they knew that you were in love with your person. So they knew that they would be rejected. So they made your person feel like you were going to reject them. You were going to try to take this and that from them. Or this person looked like the type that's this and that. And they just tried to project their energy off onto your person. And your person let it. Let them. But they ended up finding out the truth. And they, you know, isolate themselves from this person. Or in the process of doing that. They found out a lot about this person and they were reevaluating stuff that happened in the past. Yeah, temperance is here. You're someone that's very balanced, very grounded. You can balance out masculine and feminine energy. This person was seen possibly placing something in your drinks. Whoever this third party friend is, they got behind the scenes and um, they were, you know, recorded. Placing something in your cup or in your, you know, drink. They could have been hot, like stalking you. Hacked your phone, got your number, hacked your person phone, got your number out of their phone. And um, they, you know, did something to place something. Like if you order online and um, they could see it through your phone. That's how they possibly were seen doing this, pouring something in your drink. And your person was in disbelief. Yeah, the will of fortune is here. This was destined to happen. This was fated to happen. Your person knew automatically that y'all were destined to be with each other. And y'all had a purpose here on earth. You could have, you know, told your person that people do stuff like this and they didn't believe it. And they didn't know that people around them were doing it. And they would least suspect a friend of theirs that had them talk so much stuff about you was caught. Trying to place stuff in your, you know, drinks and in your food. Yeah, your person was not happy about that. The sun car in the reverse. They weren't happy. They couldn't believe it. They looked at this person as somebody that don't want them to be happy. And that's why they did that. Yeah, they looked at this person as somebody that's at the five of swords. Physically, mentally, and spiritually unstable. Jealous of them, envious of them, wanted to sabotage them for being happy. Knew that you and this person were equal. Y'all had mutual love for each other. Y'all will come together equally in every aspect of life. You know, every aspect of life. And this person was envious of that. Five of Swords. Yeah. And they wanted to keep this a secret. The Moon card is here. Your person possibly didn't even tell this person that they, you know, caught them or seen them placing stuff in your drinks or trying to place stuff in your food. Your person seen this and they, they had a lot of secrets. They could have been doing it to your person, trying to keep your person in their energy to keep projecting their energy off onto them. 
they felt left out in the cold. They are always experiencing financial lacks and wanted your person to, you know, experience a financial lacks too and feel left out in the cold because they were at the five of ones with them. Envious of them, jealous of them, always secretly trying to one-up them, be better than them. And your person wasn't even paying attention to it. And to this person exposed their self in a harsh, painful way that they would least expect. Your person knew that you were in love with them. They knew, you know, it wasn't anything wrong with you. Whatever lies were being told, on, your person knew you weren't somebody that would use um, them. Your person knew that you were someone that got it on their own. But it's like your person just, you know, sat back in regret. They're more in regret because you could have said something that they didn't believe with this five of cups. It's all about non-believers. About people that were attached to them and they started seeing it and they, didn't just, they just didn't say nothing. And it was stuff that was supposed to be meant to, you know, be kept secret. The moon is here. But your person seen it. And your person was not happy about that. And that's why they, you know, stayed away. Yeah, King of Cups is here. Your person is in love with you. Your person think that they did this because y'all were in love with each other. Y'all have the same soul. So it's like everything that this, these people didn't want your person to know or this friend to know why they did it. Your person figured it out. And it's like they needed to be isolated from you. They needed to put the pieces together in this puzzle together about stuff that they didn't believe. Stuff that they were never paying attention to. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is here. Your person know that you're supposed to, you know, y'all supposed to create a generation of wealth together. They know that you were speaking the truth, Queen of Swords. They know you're someone that's very smart. And that's why you're quick to, you know, cut out all bull with people. You've been through a lot. That's why you can get in this Queen of Swords energy and cut out things that no longer serve purpose. Because you can read energy. You know when something is not right. You know when something is not, you know, okay. And your person just realized you were only speaking the truth to them. They just had to find out their self. Because it was people that were close to them that were, you know, doing stuff in a sneaky, deceptive way. And if your person didn't find any of this out, they would have never knew that this person was trying to place stuff in your food. Or in your drink to try to, you know, possibly get you to be attracted to them. And they wanted to keep your person, you know, weighed down with negative advice so they wouldn't come towards you. And they would sit behind the scenes and secretly play with spell work with this moon car to try to manifest you. Your person was mad about that. They could not believe, you know, that this person was sitting back playing with spell work, trying to get you in this lustful energy. Or trying to get you where you wouldn't be in love with your person. Because they were envious of your person, jealous of your person. But they didn't want your person, I know.